The planning you put into a garden is really important. There are so many things that you need to take into account that can affect the environment that we live in. For example, bees are a really important part of our environment. You know, one mouthful of food in every three is a result of pollination of honeybees. Without them, well, the world could lose two, maybe three billion people in a very short period of time. So planning your garden and getting plants that flower right throughout the year is really important. And the perfect place to find out that kind of information is a botanical garden, like the Kings Park and Botanical Gardens here in Perth. Grady, the work you guys are doing here at Kings Park is fantastic. Uh, this particular section is a good example of some of the conservation work you're doing. Yeah, that's right, Trevor. This is the conservation garden with all the threatened, mm -hmm. with a number of the threatened plants from WA. And I, I find it really interesting because, of course, if any of these plants disappear, they, there's a knock-on effect through the whole environment, including things like birds that could be disappearing. Kings Park must be home to so many different varieties. Of yeah, the Kings Park has about 80 species of birds and they all play a, a role in, in, in the plant world. How many species have you got of plants? Oh, and God, you, stopped, you stumped me there. In, King, <laughs> in Kings Park Bushland or in the Botanic Gardens? Well, in the Botanic Gardens, no, what would you have there? 3,000. 3,000, it's yeah. a significant number. They'd be flowering all through the year, wouldn't they? Yeah, so they're sort of attracting and need uh, insects, birds for their pollination yeah. and plus su supply that link. So that it's such an important relationship, you know, plants like this Grevillea, which is alive with bees at the moment, will be providing the most fantastic source of, of pollen, yeah. uh, nectar. So. Yeah, and in a garden sense, you've got to have plants that are there over the full calendar year as well. Yeah, so you guys would be really counting on birds and, and bees being a big part of the whole ecology here in, in the park. Yeah, because Kings Park is made up of bushland as well as uh, horticultural gardens, mm. the two sort of work very well together. Yeah. Because one has the lovely habitat and the, the, the flowering plants are, are sort of borrowed nectar for them. Well, this is a place where people should come. It's a chance to come and, and learn from the real experts, the people who are working with our indigenous flora and doing some amazing work. And Kings Park is one of those absolute gems really anywhere in the world. I don't know any place quite like this. This is amazing. Well done. Thanks, Trevor.